Hi, I'm Tina from Julia's Gallery and I'm going to explain today the beginning steps of actually drawing with pencil. I'm going to take you through a step-by-step -step guide as to how to learn the very basics of drawing. I'm going to introduce you to some of the equipment and then some of the basic techniques that you can start to use to draw. So, as you can see, I'm in an art studio. I'm privileged to have an art studio, but you may not do. So I'm going to start from the basics. You may wish to have something that you lean on for drawing. It could be a tray, it could be a table, but in my instance, it's actually a drawing board. And I tend to draw um, quite casually a lot of times when I'm sketching, so I use something to, that's substantial to hold on to there. And I tend to use very basic pencils to start to draw with. You can buy pencils pretty much anywhere, eBay, you can even buy them in Tesco's um, and in a lot of other bargain stores. This is a 2B pencil, uh, a 4B pencil and a 6B pencil. So I'll go again, that's a 2B pencil, a 4B pencil and a 6B pencil. Now 2B is a very good soft pencil to start to draw with. A 4B gives you a softer edge to things and a 6B even a softer one again. So sometimes just starting off with some pencils helps but we're going to start to show you how to draw with our uh, 2B which is a simple one to uh, remember. And we're going to introduce a couple of other things in. We're going to introduce in a rubber and obviously a sharpener. Now when you draw oftentimes it's not a great idea to have a super sharp pointy edge to your pencil because it actually spoils the edges of your drawing. But a rubber is something you may want to use. If you can not use a rubber or hold off from using a rubber, that would be great. But anyway, let's start off and show you some tricks and so show you what you can actually do. Now I'm going to start off with the basic uh, art pad and this art pad as you can see is from Smith's and it's a mixed media art pad. And this art pad you can use anything on it, you can draw with pencil, you can use watercolour, acrylics, lots of things because it's actually quite a good um, pad of paper, it's A4 size and it's got a quite a good paper weight on it so it's easy to use. Not expensive, not too bad in costing, so easy to get hold of. So let's start at the beginning. From a novice point of view, from a beginner's point of view, when you're holding a pencil, a lot of people ask, how do you hold a pencil to draw with? You wouldn't hold it like this. It'd be best to hold it so you've got the process of holding it between the fingers with your thumb on the back so that you can hold the pencil correctly. This gives you the maximum control to drawing. So when I say draw a line, I can draw a very strong line. I've got control of the pencil. If I want to draw various shapes again, I've got control of the pencil. So now you can see it's very easy, starting to draw straight lines. You think, oh my gosh, I, I will, my lines will look like that. But actually, with the control of the pencil, you can actually direct your shaping. Even when you start to draw a circle, as you can see, you can draw it quite easily with control of the pencil. And that's the basics of drawing shapes. You always create shapes and you create lines and sketches if you like to give you either texture and form so that you can establish shape on your object. So I've shown you how easy it can be just to draw some shapes and we'll, we'll have those beginning shapes um, practiced and you need you just to spend some time drawing lines, getting used to using control of your pencil get used to your shaping so you can go back over these things so you can start to establish some context to your drawing. Now a lot of people start off with really basic shapes because that's a good place to start and we're going to show you how you can make dimensional shapes. I've shown you how to use your oval shape and then we put some sides on that shape and then we put a base on that shape. Now immediately you can see that starts to look like a tin can or a mug or something of that shaping. And that allows you then to see that it's, if you like, three-dimensional by using your shapes together. Your lines, your curvy shapes and your oval. And if you like, your um, semi-circular shape so that you can see that you're creating an actual object. 
to give that object some dimension, you start to use some of the shading and texturing that I showed you before. So you can actually now start to see that that's perhaps inside the cup. That's giving it shape on the, on the outside, outside of the cup. cup. And we start to see that this is taking some sort of shape. Lots of people say, oh, I can't draw a circle, I can't draw a circle. How do I make a circle look like a circle? Well, you just start to sketch up your circle. If you make a mistake, simply shade it in. Okay. Now remember my first rule, try not to use rubbers. Try and correct your work because it actually looks better when it's finished, when it's a finished product. To give a circle some shape, we start to shade it up. We give it some context that is actually taking on the shaping, if you like, of a circle. Now these are just some basic tips and very simple ones at that so that we can start to establish some ways of drawing. Something slightly more complicated. Perhaps we want to gain a triangular shape. Again using our lines, but note that I've drawn this line upwards to give it perspective and given it a tip so we've got an actual pyramid. If I start to shade one side, or a shade underneath, or even give it a shadowing effect, we start to establish that this is more three-dimensional. So these basic tips are the starting blocks of learning to draw. Pretty much anybody can draw if they use the right techniques. I've seen people say, oh, the simplest thing to draw is a tree. That's true. Again, just using simple movements, you can start to establish shape. So pretty much anything can be drawn and that includes people as you progress and um, animals and you can sort of develop these things but initially we're going to start off with objects as I've shown you here using these simple techniques. You can if you wish and some people do use their fingers to give things a bit more um, shaping and interest and you can start to establish your own flair for drawing. On that note, I'm going to be um, covering another series regarding um, drawing and that drawing technique will be actually using an object and I'll be teaching you how to draw that from beginning to end so you actually have a finished product and an actual picture that you can say, oh, I've actually I've drawn that, that's something I've accomplished and enjoy the process. For today, thank you for listening for this series, part one, and we'll move on to objects in series part two.